Wind turbines are a hot button issue. They're often seen as a way to help the environment by producing clean energy from an abundant resource. But they're not without critics. Wind turbines may be beautiful to look at, but they have some negative impacts on the environment as well. The spinning blades can also harm birds and bats by disrupting their sensitive navigation systems as well as causing them physical harm when they collide with the giant towers. At least 10% of all birds killed in North America are killed by wind turbines each year, according to research published by Nature Communications. This number is expected to increase as more turbines are built around the world over time. Birds and bats are often killed by colliding with turbine blades as they fly through them, or they may be cut in half if they come too close to a spinning blade. Wind turbines can also disrupt migratory patterns and cause bird populations to decline in areas where many wind farms have been constructed. If too many birds migrate at once, their numbers will exceed the capacity of their habitat and their food supply might not be able to support them all. This can lead to starvation and other problems such as dehydration from flying too high up in the air where it's cold. Wind farms also present dangers to aircraft due to the shadowing effect caused by wind turbines rotating blades. This can cause pilots to lose sight of other objects in the sky while flying nearby. What about the noise pollution, huh? Windmills can be a nuisance to neighbors because their spinning blades can cause noise, vibrations, and even health problems like headaches and insomnia. Wind turbines can be heard from up to 10 miles away and even inside houses, cars, planes, and boats. This is because they emit low-frequency noise when the blades spin. The sound produced by wind turbine blades rapidly decreases with distance from the source. However, some people living within a mile of a wind farm have complained about being able to hear the noise inside their homes. Noise levels in the immediate vicinity of an operating wind farm may exceed 55 decibels, which is equivalent to that heard at home or in offices during daytime hours. At night, this drops to 45 decibels, still louder than normal conversation at home or work, but unlikely to cause any harm. Wind energy can only be harnessed at certain locations, where the speed of the wind is high. Since they're mostly set up in remote areas, transmission lines have to be built to bring the power to the residential homes in the city, which requires extra investment to set up the infrastructure. These power lines are often strung over long distances, through forests or otherwise scenic areas, which could be compromised by construction work needed for laying this infrastructure out. This has been known in some cases for ruining views and ecological integrity in places that were once thought pristine wildernesses. This does not end here. There's a lot more. Manufacturing wind turbine blades requires petroleum-derived materials, which is not great for the environment. As it stands now, fiberglass is produced through a process that starts with oil and natural gas. It's melted down into a fluid state and then formed into the shape of a flat sheet or rod, which can be molded into any shape necessary for manufacturing products like wind turbine blades. Wind turbines are made from fiberglass in part because it's one of the cheapest materials available at large scales. The material costs less than aluminum or steel per pound, but still maintains structural integrity over time. Wind turbines typically last 15 to 20 years before needing replacement parts or complete overhauls. During this time frame, they'll take between 5 to 10 percent of their original weight in wear and tear damage from constant exposure to elements, like dust storms, rainstorms, and snowstorms. And if this is not enough, there are a lot of wind turbines stuck in landfills because there's no easy way to dispose of them. You might think that with all the energy that wind farms generate, we would be able to harness and use this clean energy without any negative consequences. Unfortunately, the disposal of wind turbines is a very real problem that has yet to be adequately solved by manufacturers or governments. A recent article from The Guardian describes how many wind farms are stuck in landfills because there's no easy way to dispose of them after their useful lives are over. While some companies have made strides towards recycling old turbines into new ones, most companies aren't doing anything at all about the problem. And it's only going to get worse, as more and more wind turbines are installed around the world. The recycling of a wind turbine is challenging, but not impossible. For example, the removal of blades can be difficult. The blades are made up of fiberglass and epoxy resin, which makes them extremely durable, but also difficult to separate from other parts like the rotor or tower. Even once these parts are removed from each other, there are still several steps that need to take place before they can be recycled properly. 
The rotor will need to be cut into smaller pieces so it can fit into a shredder. Next, those smaller pieces will be placed in an incinerator where heat will break down any remaining epoxy resin into an unusable liquid form that can then be disposed of safely or recycled. This process also releases harmful fumes, which must be filtered out before gases are released back into the atmosphere. Finally, when all dust and debris have been removed from these materials, there's only leftover metal. This material is then sold for scrap metal prices if possible. Wind turbines have a life expectancy of about 20 years, so making them easier to recycle will be important as more turbines reach the end of their lives. How do you make wind turbines easier to recycle? The answer is simple. You reduce the amount of metal used in each turbine. One way that companies are doing this is by using fewer parts and replacing some materials with lighter ones like fiberglass. Another way they're reducing weight is by using smaller blades, the wing-like devices on top of each turbine, that have less surface area overall than conventional ones do. This means it takes less energy to lift them into position at the top of towers when installing new turbines or replacing old ones. We need to think about how we'll dispose of wind turbines as they reach the end of their lives. In order to make wind turbine recycling a viable option, we need to design them in ways that allow for their disassembly and repair. This will make it easier for them to be repurposed into new products, rather than simply being thrown away. So what can we do about all this? One great place to start is by creating more recycling facilities for decommissioned wind turbines. These facilities are expensive and take up a lot of space, but they're necessary if we want to responsibly harness the power of wind energy. Another way to help is by supporting organizations that educate people on the environmental impacts of wind turbines, like the American Wind Energy Association, AWEA. We also need to continue finding ways to reuse decommissioned turbine parts in other projects. For example, by installing them in new, more efficient towers, or using them as material for roads and buildings. Also, the life cycle of a turbine can be extended through careful monitoring and maintenance. This requires the condition of the asset to be assessed and compared with the expended lifespan on the turbine, based upon the expected loads and fatigue, as well as environmental factors for the wind energy site. This practice will help reduce waste while also making clean energy more accessible. Well, that's all for today's video. We would love to hear from you. What do you think about the environmental impact of windmills? Will you raise your voice against the adverse effects of wind turbines on our ecosystem? If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week. Until the next video, we wish you the best of health.